And have you seen all those videos that Hani Singh produces? They're so well produced. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, see, ultimately, I think what Hani Singh has done, and this, I don't know whether Manal, you'll agree with me or not. Munni badnam hui, ye disco chali, wo disco chali. So they all are the same, man. We just can't hear Hani Singh because, oh, he's the only one who is doing this. Because he's a face. Because he's because a face. Bollywood because he actually license. represents that. In yeah. some way, we have put him there that, okay, this guy represents all the, you know, dick chick songs in the Bollywood. But that's not true. If you, so if, if I ask you this, like, you know, he has actually, see, I don't like his music as well. But I don't hate his variety music also. According to me, I think it's the age of hip hop and rap and stuff. So in Hollywood, it's Eminem, it's with Khalifa and stuff. Here in India, so it's Honey Singh. So that's what it is. It's the age of rap for now. So teenagers like the teenagers like the raps by Honey Singh. No matter what types of words he uses in it, uh, <laughs> what type of or rhythm, whatever it is, but people just like it. So that's it. I love him too. Vulgar, I'm a fan of him. Have you ever found it vulgar? Are you embarrassed to listen to Honey Singh in front of your parents? Uh, what's? I like Honey Singh too, and I don't feel shy playing a Honey Singh song. No matter either, am I in the house? They are the same people who go to a club and would dance on these songs, you know, and go on Twitter or Facebook and like, oh man, Honey Singh is like so tack, you know, like that. These are the same people who actually dance on his songs. There is a reason that music works. That, like Dizzy said, he's a 15 year old. He's saying it's an age of rap. Oh, we're gonna sound like 90s. It is not going to work out, man. The you beat's changing. The beat's taken over. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> it's a, it's all about beats per minute, these BPM these days, Malal and I. A lot of girls say, I don't know, but I like Honey Singh, you know, because there's this inherent uh, defensiveness that comes because people everywhere are saying, oh no, Honey Singh's lyrics are crass, Honey Singh's, uh, you know, anti-women or he's, he's very sexist. That's not actually true. He's making music. That music is saying things. It, it says different things to different people. People are enjoying his music. That's all that matters. So many times you're listening to songs. But I mean, we spoke yeah. about the beat and spoke about how electronic music has taken over. So Which is what party all is night. <laughs> party all night. Like with char bottle vodka, can't you see? The way he's portraying women in the song, it's like women are just so loose. They just what matters is what they look like. Uh, yeah. And all his songs are just so sexist. I mean, how can you not see that? I mean, the, the, this, that's what these guys have also been saying. That hasn't that come across? I mean, you take other Bollywood numbers, for example. I mean, he quoted the example of Mumni sure, sure. Badnam. Those, those movies are really appreciated because they're art. You know, yeah. I don't even want to get into the details of some of those Japanese that I've seen. Okay, But that's the whole point. They're making content. Let the audience decide. You don't like it, don't like it. But don't be like, oh, I hate Honey Singh. I hate but what's when, happening. When this a song like Balatkari comes along, I mean, we live in a charged time yes, where yes. media is often, used of I mean, is often accused of influencing people in negative ways. And Definitely. a song like Balatkari. And there was a song happened. by Bodhi Triyar. 